I commend Clark Hunt for moving swiftly and firing Todd Haley after Sunday's miserable meltdown against the Jets in New York. This was damage control on the part of the Kansas City Chiefs. It was either pull the trigger today or have to contend with an angry fan base over these lopsided losses which have been piling up all season. Haley's sideline behavior yesterday didn't help matters. His sportsmanship penalty, and by the way, it's a rarity for a head coach to be flagged, it embarrassed the entire franchise. But Hunt said today it was not the main reason Haley was fired. The Chiefs have been just too inconsistent all year, according to Hunt. The bottom line, Haley and Scott Pioli were not getting along. Don't pay any attention to all this other garbage that they're putting out. Getting rid of Haley with three games remaining in the season sends a strong message to the fan base that the organization does indeed care. It's only the second time in Chiefs history that a head coach was fired during the season. It happened 34 years ago. The money is so big in this sport these days that winning is an absolute must at all costs. The Hunt family, one of the most conservative ownership groups in the NFL, has now changed head coaches six times in the last 13 years. Three of the last four head coaches in Kansas City have lasted three years or less. The Power Trust must now go out and find a solid, experienced head coach. No more assistants, no more young, hotshot coaching prospects. We keep hearing the name of Josh McDaniels, who is close to Scott Pioli, but please, didn't we see enough of McDaniels in Denver and then again this year in St. Louis? The Chiefs need to hire a Jeff Fisher or a Bill Cower or a John Gruden. They need a strong personality and they need one now. If they want to make a really big splash, go after Nick Saban or Les Miles or even Bob Stoops. Why not? It's put up or shut up time for Scott Pioli. He said four times during the news conference that he must do better. Pioli knows he cannot afford to blow this one. But at the same time, the Hunt family must end its penny-pinching ways with this salary cap business and provide Pioli with the opportunity to put together a roster of players who can go out and compete on a weekly basis. It's obvious the Chiefs need two things. They need to get a new head coach signed, but more importantly, they need a new quarterback. And without the latter, it doesn't really make a difference, I guess, who the new coach is. That's Jack Smack.